Matching hundreds. It's a coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend to go, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. With that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, well, the holiday rush, that's in full swing in nearby Manhattan, but we've got football here eight miles west at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners are four of their last six games. And this coaching staff has to be pleased with how their defense played last week. They held their opponents to three points, and that was it. If they get anything comparable to that performance, this one's in the bag. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they, too, were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. Check, you check, know check, better check, than I. Check, he has the ability check. to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. It's the Mississippi State product at quarterback calling the shots will be Dak Prescott. Right there, right there, 54 Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. A first down throw for Prescott to Michelle on the screen. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost two there, and it's third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat, and we nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Well, competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Have about five sacks last week, and we just saw their first one of this game. The Patriots send out their punter. 
As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They go play action. Rivers. Airing it out deep for Smith. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. On third down, Rivers. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. On second down, Michelle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. The numbers a week ago for Michelle, 22 carries, a trip to the end zone to go along with 118 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10 but he has a chance to move up with a big-time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench to tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Prescott. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And this effort won't do it. He needed to get to the 45. He's a yard or two short. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The numbers for Bell on the ground in the game last week. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive. Either way, they would take they that would kind take of production. On third and one, here's Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 
0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We're watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and he hoped to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. On second and 11 now, Prescott, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Now it's Crowder. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Here we go, here we go. Kill, kill, kill. From the gun, Rivers. Looking here for Smith downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Traquan Smith, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass, and that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, Three punts isn't a bad thing, but when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. On the RPO, Prescott's going to keep it himself, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Prescott looks to throw on first, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. On the ground is Michelle. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. 
Here's Prescott. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Prescott now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. This is Michelle on the counter. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On the draw, here's Sanders. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And that is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Four yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Now a draw play. This is Bell. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20 to the 22. On third down, Rivers. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 30 yards there. And, of course, the first down as well. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays? Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Rivers, he's able to find Wallace. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Bell, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. To throw is Rivers. Airing it out deep for Smith. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. And he's gonna get this back to the three yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Second down and goal. Rivers. Herndon holds it in for the Jet touchdown. Chris Herndon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. 
Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. On third down, it's Prescott. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. A big rush and it's blocked. Jets come after him and they get him. And they are gonna take possession of the football. Uh, so much for pinning him really deep. Short punt could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you <laughs> no. in however form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. Le'Veon Bell and the Jets ready to begin their next drive. A thousand yard campaign in his sights, Charles, but needs a little bit of a kick here down the stretch to reach it. And sometimes at this stage of the season, you're looking for that extra goal, right? That extra motivation to accomplish what you want, not just as a team, but as individuals. He's got to stretch a little bit to get there. That might be what they're talking about during the practice sessions in their meetings. Hey, we can still get this done. Let's go ahead and feed him the ball. And the offensive line, I'm sure they're well aware of where he stands as well. They are, and I think for them, it would be an even better accomplishment to get there now because it seems like a little bit of a reach. Throwing, Rivers. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Badgley's kick is good, and the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal, and yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. That throw good for four. It's second down. 54 Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. On second down now, Michelle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing. Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Phillip Rivers now gears up to take the offense back out there. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. On first down, it's Bell. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. The Jets on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. The open man is Smith. And he goes out right around the 39. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game. And he's got a first down as well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Rivers. Caught here by Bell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Come on now, let's go. We should mention to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Knocking it away there defensively, Justin Coleman. On second down, it's Bell. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The Jets on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Working out of the gun, Rivers. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And an alley to run. 
And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Coming up to the line and they will need to run another play here before the two minute warning. On second down, Michelle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. That goes in the category of a play that the defense is going to cherish and excites them. A completion, yes, you give up the pass, but no gain. I mean, that's exactly what you want on defense. And sets up the fourth down. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. They give it off here to the tight end. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Pulled in at the 24. There we go. The Pats at the line, ready to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. To throw on second and 10, Prescott. That's into the hands of Reynolds. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football, and we just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Rivers. A screen to Bell. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing Rivers. And he whips that one incomplete there. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Again, it's Rivers. This one caught by Crowder. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Rivers on first down. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. That's how we do it, baby. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. 
So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it's the veteran Philip Rivers who's up to his old tricks. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already. And that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Again, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the counter, here's Bell. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Rivers, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Carl Nassib in there to get him, sack number 14 for him on the year. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. On third down, Rivers. That's complete. It's Bell. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. 
That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. Well, from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Sometimes you get just a little over eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack, take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. They actually used their aggressiveness against them on that one and hit them big. Absolutely. Had them pinned on the two. Not anymore. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first and 10, it's Sanders. The tackle there by Brianne Body Calhoun. From the 35 on second down, Prescott. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly check, executed check, crossing check, route. Check, check, check. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And they will run it with Michelle. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Sony Michelle, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As they're now just an extra point away from getting back within one score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will shave one more off this lead. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was pump the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade, Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations, so he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach, and on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. They'll go again with Bell. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They'll run on first down. It's Ford. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Bell trying to run inside, but nothing there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Rivers from the gun on third down. And it's caught by Herndon. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. They come out here in the eye. Now Bell. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's another first and goal, but from a little further back this time following the penalty. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second and goal. Rivers, and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Phillip Rivers with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Jets will extend their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now a carry for Sanders. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Here's Prescott. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Prescott now from the 50. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 40. Prescott now, perfect since the second half started, 7 of 7. It's first and 10. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late face flag mask. as well. Defense. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Prescott from the gun. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. They'll try to run it in. Michelle, uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? So we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC as the Jets come back out on offense. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed and more importantly, perhaps, that first round bye. But they have to clinch it, don't they? Yeah. That's the key, right? <laughs> so in a sense, the playoffs have started. They've got to go ahead and get this thing done. Otherwise, it's a different road, and you really don't want to be at the mercy of other teams and their results. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw, Rivers. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And it'll bring up third down. So now third and 10. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Looking to throw, Prescott. He'll get this to his tight end, it's Janu Smith. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Prescott on first down. 
That's complete to Arthago Whiteside. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Coming for his son. I'm coming for his son. On second down, Michelle. Oh, well, the ball is out. Michelle lost it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Yeah, he's got it. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant it a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rivers to throw it. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. Rivers now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On play action, Rivers. And that is incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon, but it'll be second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Rivers. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. This is Bell. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. Badgley able to knock this one through, and that will give them a 12-point lead. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. A good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion 
to throw again on second down. Prescott, he was looking for Josh Reynolds that time. And it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First down, Prescott. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Leonard Williams racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. After the sack on first down, Prescott toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Prescott. That's into the hands of Reynolds. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of them? Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. On first down, Bell, he's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Bell. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Le'Veon Bell with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. They are on to the fourth quarter now, by the way, in Santa Clara. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. On first and 10, Prescott catches made by Harry. 
And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. It's caught, Smith. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That's certainly one way to beat the blitz. Get it out of your hands quickly and get it to the big fella. Very effective. Saw the pressure, got rid of it, and the completion ensued. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And he loses the football a second time. And the Jets have recovered. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And we put our focus now on Le'Veon Bell. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to. But as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together. And that's what we're seeing right now. They'll run on first down. It's Ford. Up to make the tackle, J.C. Jackson. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a jet shaken up on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 65. 65. Throwing here, Rivers. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Jets, the final two weeks are going to tell the story for them as they move to 9-5 and five with a win. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis,